Most people in life are looking at how to make a life worth living and a retirement worth having. I'm literally sitting in front of a tree that has a limb that's not actually attached. I have now told or attempted to tell three people from the owners of the corporation where the tree sits in the front yard. I've also told now at least one or two police officers. And on top of that, I have actually proactively tried to tell the city office about this tree limb. I'm concerned about it because there are cars that park well under it. I'm also concerned because we have plenty of walkers on this street from all different houses and all different townhouses and all different apartment complexes who walk through this area. At the same time, we've been having some pretty heavy wind of late, and that makes me concerned that that branch could fall out of that tree, creating liability not only for the company, but for anyone who's literally known about it and has done nothing about it. My concern for people is always that first. Safety is always first in the world. And if you're not smart enough to get your people up here to take that tree limb out, then you are legally liable for the fact that you've now been warned, you've now been told, and you've now been sold on nothing, right? You see, you are still liable for the fact that you are liable for what you've done. And when you're liable for what you've done, you are liable. Every morning I get up and take a particular walk to make sure that my arms are working, my legs are working after several strokes and basically a heart attack. And yet in the morning, I'm always seeing these new people who've never been in this area at all, riding around on bicycles, pretending like they're my best pals of all. And I've never in my life met these people. Why are these people from the university always waving at me all the time is maybe something I'm gonna talk about next time. But today I'm concerned about a tree limb. And I've told as many people as I can think of about the problem. I literally physically went into this, this Circle K lot to see a police officer sitting there when I turned in a cell phone that I had found, actually a long time ago, that the people at Circle K promised they'd take over to the actual uh, T-Mobile store to give in for me because I couldn't get to the mall with the way that I live and the way that people monkey around with uh, people like me. But the truth is they never took it. What they did do is steal the stylus out of it. And so I finally took it back from the girl who promised to take it over there. She had clearly forgotten what she said with her mouth. I get a little tired of that shit, don't you? You get tired of people giving you lip service like, oh sure, I'll do that for you. No problem, when I go out to the mall, I'll take it over there for you. So God forbid the girl probably, or the guy probably didn't get the phone back, but I found it literally in the midst of a driveway. It had been run over, but I gave it in to the police officer. Now, did the police officer do the right thing and take it over to the T-Mobile store? I'll never know. But I literally have been talking about this tree thing as a concern that there are young dogs around here or like puppies that I like. There are people that I care for who I'm constantly talking to who often ply my ministry with canned goods or uh, beautiful iced tea for us. And openly, I don't want any of them hurt. And I certainly don't want them to lose their car to an insurance thing that won't ever really fully cover the aspect of the tree limb falling with some wind or something.